took Mavis hours to, to calm down the twins. They were very shaken up by Gordon. Thomas was left to shun alone. He was a good shunter, but the trucks were overwhelming. By the end of the day, Thomas was exhausted. He couldn't even get enough steam to puff to Tidmouth, so he stayed at, at the quarry with Bill, Ben, and Mavis. Are you two okay? Thomas asked the twins. They didn't reply. They just remained silent. Mavis cut in. I know a way to get back at Gordon. This time, Bill said something. I don't think we should do something to make Gordon mad. Yeah, Ben agreed. He was scary earlier. We shouldn't try to see that side of him again. Fine. How about you, Thomas? Nah, Gordon's just a bossy boiler and conceited. Karma will get him soon enough. I can't wait that long. I have a brilliant plan. I'm going to reveal it tomorrow, and Gordon will have to find out how difficult it is to work hard. Thomas was worried about Mavis. She was taking Gordon too personally. She usually doesn't act like this. She haven't acted like this since the time she arrived on Soro years ago. She was too confident in love when things go her way, but if they wouldn't, things would turn into a disaster. She is a good leader, and that is why she's in charge of the quarry, and keep the twins in line. Thomas didn't say anything else. The quarry engines fell asleep. He was thinking about Mavis, Cherex, and Gordon. It took a while for him to fall asleep. I hope she doesn't do anything tomorrow. Next day, Mavis had a heavy line of trucks ready. She pulled up beside them and whispered, Can you keep a secret? Yes, yes, tell us, tell us! Can you bump Gordon off the rails and don't tell who told you to do it? The trucks smiled wickedly. They agreed and now Mavis had to wait for Gordon. Thomas puffed over to Mavis. Who is this train for? I have to pull it later. Thomas was suspicious, but he didn't show it. He just said, Whatever you say, I have to go, but I'll be back tomorrow. Okay, goodbye, Thomas. Goodbye, he said, and puffed quickly away. He had to pull Annie and Clarabelle, so he didn't have time to stop Mavis's revenge plan. I hope Mavis won't do anything she will regret while I'm gone, he said and puffed away. Meanwhile, Bill and Ben were out of the sheds. They were a bit jumpy since Gordon yelled at them. They shunted more responsibly, and whenever they heard a whistle, they would jump backwards. They were so jumpy they didn't even joke around. While they shunted carefully, Mavis acted as though nothing happened the day before. She was a good actor, but then as Gordon came in, she started her revenge. Bill and Ben were so frightened they ran back to their sheds full speed. Gordon smiled, but Mavis didn't think it was funny. She coupled up to the train and pretended to pull. She revved her engine. Mavis, what are you doing? I'm trying to pull these trucks, but they are troublesome today. Gordon, can you pull them for me? They need to be at the construction site right away. <sighs> Fine, but I will take them and they will behave. You just need to bump them into line. Watch. Mavis uncoupled and Gordon was coupled to the trucks. Gordon pulled and his wheels slipped but didn't give up. He started to move when the trucks yelled, NOW PUSH! 
they made Gordon jump off the rails. Stop! He shouted, but they kept pushing. They finally stopped and it was a disaster. Rocks laid everywhere and the entrance to the quarry was blocked. Mavis and the trucks laughed. <laughs> this is not funny. Get me back onto the rails. <laughs> sure, but it may take a while to get Johnny and the rescue team here. Great. I have a railway to run and I'm stuck here. Bill and Ben appeared in a troublesome ways came back. They laughed and said, Well, Gordon, I see you're busy. So, we'll just go, Ben said. They snickered away, but Gordon liked it better when they feared him. Mavis's plan worked. That should show him not to mess with my friends, Mavis said to herself and rolled away to find the manager.